Good evening. Welcome to Cooking Trials and Errors with Linda and Dwight. Tonight you've got Dwight at the command post here. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to have dueling quiches. Last night Linda cooked a quiche and it was very good. Tonight I'm going to try to cook one that's at least as good, if not better. My ingredients are, I'm going to use some broccoli, broccoli crowns, um, uh, a half of about a medium onion, uh, one bell pepper. I cut out the crappy parts that look like pulp, you know. I've got six eggs, about a cup and a half of half and half in here. I've mixed it pretty good. Looks like eggnog, but I'm not going to drink it. And over here, Linda has been so gracious as to um, grate some cheddar cheese for me. And over here, in the frying pan, I've already prepared one package of Jimmy Dean sage flavored sausage. So what we're going to do is we're going to line the bottom of the pan with some broccoli. Got to have some greens, you know. And if I've got too many, I'll leave some out. Because I'll eat them with ranch dressing. Wow, look at there. Perfect. Alright, then on top of that, I'm going to go ahead, well, uh, before I spill it, I'm going to go ahead and put this salt in with the eggs and the half and half. One teaspoon is what that was. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. Alright. Um, let me think. How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to put about a smidgen of some red, pretty red bell pepper in there. And I'm going to put a smidgen of some white onion, as Justin Wilson would say, onion. I'm going to put a smidgen of cheddar cheese on that. Another smidgen, because I really love cheddar cheese. Then, I'm going to find a hot pad. I'm going to take this browned sausage. And I'm going to layer some of that in there. And if we have some left over, we'll just make it uh, for breakfast in the morning. I think we are going to have too much. So, but man, that sausage is good. I'm going to see if I can't stuff a little more in there. All right, that's good for now. I put a few more of these bell peppers on top. Just a few. I've never cooked one of these before, but I ate one one time and it was good. So I'm trying to duplicate it. And one last little whisk of the eggs and half and half and salt. And as Linda said, you start pouring it in till it fills the nooks and crannies. Being careful not to spill it or go over the edge. I learned this from Linda yesterday. You take this, kind of tap it down in there. A little more. And last but not least, I'm going to top it with some cheddar cheese. Mmm, -mm, doesn't that look good? We have preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Linda has put a pan in the bottom so it would be warm as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook it for 47 minutes. Why you say 47? Because I like to be different. So if y'all will come back to us in about 47 minutes, we'll take this out and show you what it's going to look like. Woo, that's 
ましたあんにわずかもスピルエッ Thank goodness for easy off Why hello there We are back The quiche is done and we have let it rest for about 10 minutes to hopefully make it a little easier to cut. Uh, I think I should cut it all the way across, don't you? However you want to cut it. Cut. They always say the first piece is the hardest. I thought it was the first cut is the deepest. Baby, I know. I wonder the only one that thought that was funny. Oh wow, well, that does look good. I hate to say that it does so far look better than mine yesterday. Well, I wouldn't say that. It looks very good. The main thing we have to worry about is how does it taste? And it sure smells good. I'll give you that. Thank you. Look at those well, beautiful layers of quiche. Well, we appreciate you joining us tonight. We sure wish you were here to have some with us. Uh, maybe next time. Good night. Good night. Well, now that you're not filming, I'm going to taste this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're filming? Okay. Well, Dwight... You win. This is much better than mine. <laughs>